This video will cover categorizing assets with asset lists in Tenable SC. The goal of this video is to map your organization's asset landscape to Tenable SC for easier scanning, filtering, and reporting. To begin, we'll go to the Assets section. There are a variety of pre-built asset lists in Tenable SC, including common ones for Linux and Windows operating systems. Let's walk through creating a new asset list. The Templates section allows you to browse through ready-made templates created by the Tenable Research Team. You may find a pre-existing asset list that meets your needs, which requires little to no modifications. You can search these pre-built templates using keywords that include operating systems, applications, device types, vulnerabilities, and more. You can also create custom asset lists. There are two main types, static and dynamic. Static asset lists are those which do not change unless manually updated. Dynamic asset lists use rules to automatically update the assets within them based upon a defined criteria. For example, you could define a dynamic asset list to automatically include all assets identified as Windows servers. In this example, we'll create a static asset list for a specific range of IP addresses. Provide a name and optionally a description and tag. In the IP addresses section, you can specify individual IPs or ranges. You can also import a list of IP addresses that you may have exported from another asset management tool or a spreadsheet. After saving the asset list, you can use it in a variety of places within Tenable SC, such as vulnerability analysis, dashboards, and reporting. For example, let's navigate to our vulnerabilities. To use the new asset list, create a filter. We'll choose Select Filters and choose the Asset Filter. Click on the new asset filter and you can start typing the name of the filter or scroll through the list. Click Apply All. Now we have filtered the vulnerability summary to only show vulnerabilities which affect systems in our asset list.